I'm Pam Douglas, and I created Sanctuary, a multi-year project about refugees all over the world who are struggling to find a sanctuary from the problems of the world. It's not just our southern border. It's the effects of war, of famine, of drought, of flood. People are on the move everywhere. And I see their humanity and wanted to depict that in individual senses of who each one is, who is a seeker, who is a traveler, so that these are not statistics, these are not numbers of people, these are not phenomena, these are individuals avowing their own lives, often bravely. And that's what I tried to capture on the panels that make up Sanctuary Part One. They're snapshots of life because the individual panels are separate moments in the experience, and I, and I mean them to be that. Each one is a panel that symbolizes an experience of one human being or a group of human beings. In Part One of Sanctuary, Everyone is walking or traveling by land in some way or trying to travel by land and has been captured. I was attracted to draw the faces of the people who are traveling. All of the faces come from my imagination, or you might say my heart. None of these are photographs, none of these are real people, none of these are models. Their situations may echo something I have seen in photojournalism. Certainly, inspirations are all too common. They're everywhere, I'm sorry to say of the people who are migrating everywhere. I think that the drama is internal in the pieces. I stayed away from color for that reason. I went to simplicity to the greatest extent that I could because I want the meaning to come through and not to be obscured by a lot of surface painterliness. Uh, actually, I worked with charcoal and a little bit of chalk, of chalky pastel, and that's it for the drawing. There is nothing else on the actual drawings of the figures. I amplify that with lots of texture. The hands are mostly clay, and they protrude from the canvas because they're reaching out from the canvas to escape or reaching towards somebody. In addition, these pieces are uh, make use of coffee bean bags, used coffee bean bags, which were a gift to me. And I realized when I got them that they have stamps on them of the places that they come from. They also have weight stamps of the uh, weight of the coffee beans. But what a comment that is on the people who, who are sometimes rejected as not acceptable commodities at some borders. So that's why I chose these materials. In some cases, there are also other little parts. There's some toys and some a watch. There are some details that are there because they express something of individual humanity. My heart belongs to the parents with their young children who are trying to make this passage and it just, it just breaks me up when the children are trapped and taken from their parents and I think if there was one thing that impelled me to start these series it was that notion of the children torn from their parents' arms. As a mother, it just breaks me up to think what it would be like 
to have my child taken. Part two will be travel by water, and I'm currently involved in making full-scale rafts with images of the same refugees. And part three, the year after that, will be arrivals in the camps and people who are in tents and other kinds of places who are going to survive. <laughs>